Welcome medicos. In this video, I will be discussing about theory class reinforcement technique. How to increase the efficacy in learning and how should you prepare for your theory lectures? What should you do before your lectures, at your lecture and after the lecture? And what should be the review strategy after one topic is dealt in the class? So let's begin with the evening before the lecture. Uh, let's say that tomorrow you are having anatomy lecture then what should you do there is something called skimming that means you just have to uh, get a bird eye view just go through the topic just identify the unfamiliar terms it is very helpful especially if you are reading anatomy if you have heard the unfamiliar term a day before when the teacher will talk about it then automatically your attention will be uh, towards that topic only and it will be very helpful for you because it increases your concentration during the lecture. So you should identify the unfamiliar terms and what you should do that just keep one A4 sheet. Just write five to seven unfamiliar terms which you don't know. Also in a particular topic there is always some terms which you have already heard in, your, in the course of time of your uh, uh, preparation but you don't know the meaning or you don't know why it is important but you have heard. That means that particular term or that particular topic is important. So if you will make a note of that terms, then it will be easier for you to uh, keep track when the professor is teaching you that topic. As I have said, make note of those difficult terms. Then go through the main and subheadings. So you have to see which are the main headings un under that particular topic and the subheadings. If you just give five minutes five to ten minutes for every uh, subject a day before your that particular lecture then it is going to be very helpful i'll suggest this is my personal opinion and uh, i suggest uh, that you should try this at least for uh, two weeks and then see the difference so what to do during lecture as i mentioned in my previous videos also the most important thing to do during lecture is to listen to your professor if you are attentive, you will not miss the minor details, the minute details. The most important thing about that is since the professor have seen so many external examiners, they will tell you that these are the topics from which the external examiners ask questions and viva. And uh, they will also help you to understand from where five markers or ten marker or MCQs arises. It will help you in your long run also and uh, since the trend is changing they will tell you that which are the topics which in neat pg examination these questions keep on repeating or these are the topics from where questions arises and uh, there may be some topics which have a hundred percent probability to appear in your final exams or in neat exams so if you are attentive you will not miss these minute details apart from the theory itself so you should always take notes always begin with a new page give the page number write the date so that it, you can uh, keep track of it write the professor who dealt uh, that topic because if you have any doubt you can go back to them and ask them write the objectives this is very important because you will understand which are the topics that are core areas and must to know areas or nice to know areas as you know that now we all are in cbme curriculum so you should know that which competency is important because you will be having certifiable skills and uh, these are the areas from which they are going to ask you question in your universities internal examination periodic assessment test and all keep the copy of difficult terms alongside in the previous uh, slide i told you what to do before uh, evening before the lecture you should write the difficult terms so if you have written that keep it alongside your uh, notebook and see which uh, particular terms is being dealt by the professor so you can take it off that you okay now I know this by doing this is a very small things this will develop interest you will develop interest to a particular subject and if you are interested in that subject you will never feel bored of it you will be very enthusiastic to know more and more about it and that is going to help you in the long run because if you want to be a better clinician that is something which is very important you have to be enthusiastic towards your subject then uh, don't be afraid to ask doubts or if the professor don't like to entertain doubts uh, in between the lectures and they give time after the lecture then write your doubts and ask after that uh, 
I don't think that any teacher will tell you not to ask doubts. They will, they will even encourage you to ask your doubts, to ask more and more doubts, so that because if you are asking a doubt, that is not only helping you but all your batchmates. So that's why keep asking doubts or uh, write your doubts so that you can see which particular question troubled you during the lecture so that you can know that uh, how to go about it as the professor and clear your doubt. Also, you may try to frame MCQs while listening or uh, frame 5 markers or 10 markers, something like that. Uh, this is not very important, but if you want to go a step ahead, you may try this because this is going to help you to discuss among your friends. Try to frame MCQs, ask your friend, tell your friends to create some MCQs or five marker, ten marker, something like that, one word. Quiz among yourself. This will develop the interest and uh, you will excel in that subject. Now, immediately after the lecture, you should do one thing. You will have three to four minutes. Just read through your notes immediately and uh, try to see whether all the terminologies which you have uh, written yesterday. Now, do you know the meaning of uh, those, the importance of that particular term? And you know that satisfaction that you wrote 10 terminologies and yesterday you didn't know about that and today you know 10 more so you are plus 10 from yesterday. So that is going to boost your confidence and the interest toward the subject. Uh, whenever you want to excel in particular subjects, I have mentioned so many times in this video interest. That is a very important thing. Either you should know how to develop interest or your teacher should do something that you will develop interest in the subject. It will be a resonance effect if both of you uh, do something together to develop interest in that subject. So this is something you should do. In the evening time, read that topic again. Give 15 minutes at least. You may give 15 to 45 minutes depending upon the topic or depending upon uh, uh, how clearly you understood that concept. And uh, I believe if you have listened properly to your professor during the lectures, you were attentive, then it will be very easy for you to go through the topic once. Also, these are something which will help you in your long run because these are the habits which you should develop because as soon as you will go ahead in your MBBS uh, course, this will be very helpful for you. Then work out with the teacher's learning objective. Just go through the objective, see whether now you can, uh, are you able to answer all the objectives or not. If not, then make note of it. Go to your professor ask them again and again, read through the uh, textbook, discuss with your friends. That is a mo very, uh, that is the most important thing. If you discuss, if you have a small group, then it becomes very productive and it becomes very easy for you to understand any topic because everyone has a different way of understanding a concept. And if you are able to understand that, how different people think, then you may grasp some of the uh, good qualities which you want to make your learning easy. It's not like that you have to uh, copy anybody, but if you feel like somebody is doing it nicely, then you may learn from them and that is going to help you. Anyway, in this uh, field, you have to uh, be a lifelong learner and if you are learning from everybody, then think where you will be after five years. Then formulate questions that it will answer the objectives. You may formulate questions from that and ask your friends, discuss among them and you may try to write uh, the answers and show it to a professor that uh, should this particular question be answered in this particular way or what changes you need to do. Try doing, uh, try doing uh, all these things and if you have any doubt regarding this particular topic, don't forget to comment. Just drop a comment and uh, I'll respond to it. Thank you. Hope it was helpful.